little little school football five weeks week five coming up right now headliner from last week week four headliner from last week i think it has to be a quarterback named scotty I believe it's pronounced Taylor. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, from New Berlin, uh, he's a junior. He actually goes to Franklin. He's a Franklin Flash, but he's a New Berlin pretzel for football. Uh, New Berlin, of course, has gone to that spread offense this year. Last week, uh, he threw for a little over 300 yards, four touchdowns. He's passed for almost 900 yards already, and we're not quite halfway through the season. The spread offense, New Berlin's really embraced it, and it's uh, it's really taken off. They're three and one. And they go to Williamsville uh, Friday night, which will which will be interesting. Without their coach. Without their coach, Jeff Harris unfortunately isn't with them right now. Uh, but New Berlin has some incentive. There's a lot of connections there. Aaron Coons, the Williamsville head coach, is a New Berlin alumnus who helped Jeff Harris years Our ago. Assistant coach. And they play for a what they call the Silver Bucket Trophy. So there's a, a little bit of history there. So it's a little bit of rivalry. Williamsville, we hear Josh Gentile took some hard hits last week against Auburn. Uh, at least yesterday, Aaron Kuhn said Josh, he's optimistic Josh could play, but he said they don't want to take any chances. Concussions are, are mainstream right now. Everybody from the NFL, the college football, to high school football, everybody's really aware of, of the damage concussions can do. Yeah, they don't, obviously they don't want to take any chances. So, but it could be an interesting game. Prairie State probably has the big headliner this week among our among our games in our area, Staunton and Pawnee. Staunton cleaned up in the Prairie State first year and last year cleaned up. They're doing a good job this year. Next year is their last year in yeah. the Prairie State. Pawnee's kind of, Kit Dine has really brought that program back. Uh, mm -hmm. Done a really good job, but but they fly under the radar a little bit. They're not a high-scoring team. They don't not, not a lot of offensive people that we talk about. Very workmanlike is the point. Right. Yeah. They are very you know very basic in what they do offensively. Most time double tight end. Just very and that's that's what Kit Tyne decided to do a couple years ago. Let's go back to a real basic thing. And luckily his kids bought into it. Both of them and Staunton. They did have a very good game at Staunton last year. Staunton won 15 to 12. Uh, this for this conference, there have been a lot. Both teams have had some lopsided wins so far. The Staunton coach said these past two games, his starters have played a grand total of three quarters. So safe to say, Staunton <laughs> needs a challenge, and Pawnee to some extent too. Uh, both teams are passing a little more than they did last year. Different quarterbacks, so that could maybe make it a little more interesting. Uh, Pawnee's playing at home. Uh, you still might have to give Staunton a little bit of an edge. We talk about this week uh, the. the uh, Teams that have that have put up some big numbers, uh, Mount Sterling, Brown County, annihilated ISD, put what seventy six on them or something like that last. I think week. ISD scored eight. ISD so. scored eight, but, <laughs> but yeah, now now they're getting down to the nitty gritty in the WIBC. This week it's Triopia and Brown County. Oh no, well, this week it's Route and Brown. Route and Brown County. Yeah. County okay, this and that's week. two teams ranked in the top ten. Right. Um, right. How how do they keep doing that year after year in the WIBC? Kind of a a big three and a little three. Well, I mean, the last few years in particular, it just seems like there's been kind of a separation of the haves and have-nots, and it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, just the last few years, Virginia and uh, ISD and a couple others have just really been down, and Triopia and, and Brown County and Route have been have been up, and it's just kind of a and these like you said to this week, Route Brown County starts about a three-week stretch. Next week, of course, Route and Triopia, the a big Thursday. rivalry on Thursday a night. Thursday I believe it's in Jacksonville this time. Mm -hmm. uh, they split two games last year, so I think people are already looking forward to that. And then the week after that, Triopia plays Brown County. So hopefully the dust will clear and we'll maybe have a, a champion by then. And there's a lot of people that will tell you, forget about all the other rivalries around Central Illinois. Triopia and Route is the definition of a rivalry. Yeah, it is. I mean, they're... I've always thought of it as a very small school version of maybe SHG and Glenwood. I mean, you know, in terms of the Catholic school in town, the smaller school kind of on the outskirts of town. And, uh, yeah, it, it goes back a number of years and just a lot of everybody. And on a Thursday night, it makes it more fun. More people can go to the game. Even if you're just a casual fan, it's fun to go watch. And we talk about football here, but we have another big area event, Sangamon County Volleyball Tournament mm -hmm. comes up this weekend, Saturday. They'll play that championship game Monday. And, right. uh 25th year of the Sangamon County Volleyball Tournament. Yeah, uh, it's hard to believe. It started in 1986, and we were talking earlier, Robin Taff, who used to coach at Rochester, said there was a sort of a county version of a tournament before that. Unofficial. But it, unofficial, but 86, the School Masters Association started it. And yeah, this is 25 years. Uh, Auburn's the defending champion, but Williamsville is the top seed. It's, it's played so early in the season that it's kind of 
you know, up for grabs a little bit. And Rochester is still in the county tournament, but obviously they're playing a CS8 schedule, so they're kind of an un they're seated second, and they're kind of an unknown, so they could be a big factor too. We'll talk about all that and more football. You can read about that on the State Journal Register, and come back next week, and we'll talk about what happened in Week Five as we come to the home stretch in high school football.